Hey guys, welcome back. So I finally, finally have this Catherine Pierce Vampire Diaries inspired look for you, which I'd been planning since last August, but we had a few technical difficulties, I guess you could say, but everything's all ready to go now. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to tell you about my lenses. These are from Samhain Contact Lenses. And what's really cool about this company is that all of their lenses are hand painted and they do take custom orders so these ones were made specifically for this vampire diaries look each lens is about 175 dollars so yes they are a bit expensive but they are completely worth it these ones are 22 millimeters they're in my prescription and if you take really good care of them they will last you about a year Okay, so on to the fangs. These are from Chaos Custom Fangs, and they actually offer a Vampire Diaries set, so they are made to look like the ones on the Vampire Diaries, and each side has three fangs. We had to do two separate caps for the right side because for some reason the back tooth just kept breaking when we had it as a set all together. So that was the main issue with getting this video done last year, but it's all good. Also, I used the mail order process to get these fangs. Luckily, Stavros is amazing and we got it all figured out and they run around $150, so they are a bit of an investment as well, but again, if you take really good care of them, they will last you a long time. I'll leave links below as well as the link to the blog post for my homemade blood recipe. So if you want to transition into a vampire, go ahead and keep on watching. So I've done half the face already and I used Catherine's eye makeup from the masquerade party as inspiration. As per usual, I'm applying my Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer to both my lid as well as underneath my eye. And this will really just help our eyeshadow stay in place and not crease throughout the night. And I'm using a concealer brush to blend this in. Normally I would just use my fingers, but since I have the scleras in, I need to be a bit more gentle around my eyes, especially along the lower lash line. Now I'm just curling my lashes before I apply any eyeshadow. I'm starting out with Venus from my Naked Basics palette and I'm just packing that all over my eyelid up to the crease. And then as a transition color, I'm using Vanish from the KBD Monarch palette. I'm applying that into the crease and then I'm just going to blend that out to soften everything up. From that same palette, I'm using Shadow Box, which is a deep brown. I'm applying that to the outer corner and then blending it into the crease. Then I'm also starting to blend that out into a bit of a cat eye shape. I'm then going in with my Sigma E36 blending brush to just soften up all the edges. This brush is basically my life right now. I'm then applying a black eyeshadow just to the outer V of the eye and then I'm going to follow that same shape that we made with the brown eyeshadow. However, I am keeping the black eyeshadow a bit more concentrated just to add a little bit more depth and dimension. I'm then going back in with my Sigma E36 just to soften everything up a little bit. I do want to keep some of the definition though from this black eyeshadow so I'm not going too crazy. I'm then just using my finger to sharpen up that bottom edge a little bit. I'm then going back in with my black eyeshadow and just really concentrating it at that outer V. At the highest point in my crease, I decided to blend everything up a little bit more towards the brow. Then for my brow highlight, I'm using Venus, which is the same color I used on my lid. Then I decided my black wasn't quite symmetrical enough, so I added a little bit just above and blended that out to soften. I'm then tightlining my eye with a black eyeliner as well as going along my lower waterline. I'm then smudging that down onto the lash line just a little bit. I'm blacking out my lash line using a little bit of my black eyeshadow and then applying a couple coats of black mascara to my top lashes only for now. For my false lashes, I'm using my Ardell Fairies with a demi pair stacked on the outer half. 
so I decided to try out this little eyelash applicator to apply my lashes, which I've never used before, but it actually did make it a little bit easier. And then I also used tweezers to help stick down both ends. Bonus points if you can name what song I'm lip syncing. So now that I've applied my lashes, I'm going in with my tattoo liner in Trooper and just aligning that along the top lash line and kind of at the end, I am winging it out, but it just blends into the black eyeshadow. So nothing too fancy. There are a few different things you can do for the veining under the eyes. This is just how I decided to do it. And you will definitely want to look at a few reference photos or a lot of reference photos for these. If you're already obsessed with the TV show like I am, you may already have a small idea of how you want to do this, but I also looked at pictures of the natural veins that we have under our eyes. I just googled um, under eye veins to see different people and how their veins were under their eyes, and then when I pull the skin down under my own eye, I can see a few veins, so I use that as a bit of a guide as well. And I'm using my concealer on a liner brush to draw out my veins. There's really no wrong way to do this, and if you get some that you don't really like, you can just remove them and start again. So just go for it and have fun! So once I'm happy with my veins, I'm going in with a purple and blue eyeshadow to give it more of a veiny look. And basically, I'm just going in and outlining all of the veins. And I'm not doing this in any particular order as far as color goes. It's just kind of random, whatever I feel, and then I'm making some shadows darker and some not quite as dark. These aren't only helping us add color to the veins, but it's also giving us a bit more of that raised look with the shadow on the outside and the highlight on the inside. For the most part, all the veins are connected, but for the few that I have extending out, I'm not closing off the ends so that it looks more like it's fading into the skin. I'm then going back in with my E36, just kind of cleaning it off a little bit. And then I'm just going to gently blend over all the veins to give it more of a subtle look. And also when we do this, it will kind of blend the concealer out onto the colors to not only soften, but give us more of an under the skin effect, which is also what this fair powder is doing. I'm then applying my foundation around the veins and down onto my neck and I'm using the Lorac Porefection Foundation in Light. I'm using a packed face brush to apply this, first stippling it on and then buffing it in. I'm then very gently blending the foundation up into the bottom part of the veins just to again help with that under the skin effect. I'm then setting that with a translucent powder. Again, I start by stippling it on and then I will swirl away any excess. For my contour, I'm going back in with Vanish and I'm using this for my cheekbones, around my forehead, down the sides of my nose, as well as along the jawline. And just be sure to blend everything in really well. And then I'm just doing a little bit of highlight on top of the cheekbones, again using Venus. To finish off the face, I'm going in with a pinky nude cream blush. And what I like to do is just get a little bit on my finger and then I'll dab some of the color off onto my hand and go ahead and stipple that onto the apples of my cheeks and blend that back in between the highlighter and the contour. And normally I'm not a blush person at all, but I find that this one is a nice subtle color while still giving me a little bit of life. 
Now I'm combing through my brows and then I'm just going to fill in the natural shape using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. To match the wig a little bit better, I'm going in with a lighter shade, which is one of the NYX brow gels in chocolate. And I'm just picking up a little of this onto a clean spoolie brush and combing through the brows. I'm then going in with my concealer to clean up the lines a little bit and then I'm using a clear brow gel to help set everything. Then for my lips, I'm using Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Vampira and Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in Red Rum. I'm applying a first layer of Vampira followed by a layer of Red Rum. I decided I wanted more of an ombre lip, so I'm going back in with Vampira and just adding that to the corners of the mouth and blending it in. For a few finishing touches, I'm putting on my wig, which is from Epic Cosplay. I'll have the link down below. And then I just need my fangs and jacket. And that, my friends, is how you turn into a vampire. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check the description for all the links and products used in the video. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for your patience. I love you guys.